Hey YouTubers, my lineup of stuff is getting even bigger. Thanks to garage sales in our local community. And I've only begun. <laughs> I've only stopped at one place in our small town and there's so many more to go. But it all kind of depends on what this Hurricane Isaac remnant's coming in this weekend is going to do. So, might have some good pickings tomorrow. Might end up coming home wet. It's hard to tell. Let me introduce you to my specimens. This one you've seen from a previous video. It's a Zenith Model 6. I'm sorry, uh, Zenith Model L624W, chassis 6L03. It is an AM tube type radio. That would need a dial cord on it. And I think that's about it for him. He's in pretty good shape. Of course, you were already introduced to the General Eclectic. It's needing filter caps, a new line cord, and something to resemble dial glass that has been removed. One of my new finds today was this Arvin. This is a all transistor AM FM marine band and it is a model 80R3519 in black. And uh, let's see, it's got no volume at all. You can just barely hear it. That is it. That is up all the way. So she's needing recapped. It's a nice looking radio though. But looks doesn't play music. Another one of my wonderful finds. This is a huge, huge blue oscilloscope. <laughs> it's missing the test leads. Um, I gave five dollars for both this and the Arvin today at the garage sales. This is a Tektronics model T922 15 megahertz oscilloscope and Tektronics was manufactured in Beaverton, Oregon the unit will power on I think the display looks rather dim myself it takes it a couple minutes to come up or a minute to come up and I'm imagining it's probably due to bad capacitors in there that need replaced because it acts really funky see how dim the display is It's in relatively good shape overall. Just needs a good bath. It's dirty, as most of the stuff I find. Let's go ahead and unplug this. Okay, on to the next. This is an Arvin. Picked this up yesterday. I'll grab my piece of paper because I get all the information on it. This is an Arvin clock radio. It's a model 857T. Chassis number RE378. And this one's needing capacitors. The clock does not work. Um, amazing enough, when I brought this home, I was surprised that it even worked at all for the condition. <laughs> it's very, very, very dirty. It definitely looks like it's set in a barn or something for quite a number of years. She's needing filter caps. Go ahead and unplug that one. And I gotta fix this glass. The plastic lens has come loose. It is a heavy, heavy radio. I bet this thing weighs in at probably eight to ten pounds easy. And it's got a photo in phono input jack. And now the one that's got me scratching my noggin. This is a Motorola model B7W and this is a tube chassis AM FM radio. And I will probably wind up making a four or five minute video on this before all is done because this thing has got some weird quirks. The AM band will work all the way from start to finish. The FM band here locally 95.7 should be about right here. 99.1 should be about right here. This whole area on this dial is crammed down in here. <laughs> and it'll play for a little while and then eventually one by one 
all the stations will start fading away. Now it's gone. <laughs> That's all to come in today's 95.7. That's a 50,000 watt station. It's about 35 miles east of me. This does have a tube FM modulator in it. It takes a funky tube I never heard of. It was a 17 EW8. Turns out it's a common tube though. AM band. Scattered showers again, a high still in the mid 80s. Right now, 89 degrees at your severe weather station news radio 700 WLW. Weather's a service of carrier geo. But we got some problems here somewhere because. Dealer today, carrier. <laughs> it's not very sensitive. Here the big stories you'll be talking about in the big one. A federal judge is siding. Saying voters in Ohio can. Weird. More than money. Gone. <laughs> That's a weird one. So, there's an overview of what's been going on the last couple of days. So, more to come in the next day or two.